During week seven of the 2017 NALCS Summer Split, TSM's Bjergsen became the first mid laner to reach 1,000 regular season kills. He was one of the first imports into NA and is currently the only player to win multiple NA MVP awards. In honor of his amazing career so far, we're highlighting some of his best plays and moments. And the W is enough of the percent burst to take him down. Let's we'll see if Quas can really do what he needs to here. The blue buff has worn off of Bjergsen, so he is hoping for that W to come up once again. Oh, the juke! Oh, he took the juke! Out. He'll be able to get past the special. Is it up? Can he get the dodge? And Bjergsen flashes. That is incredible. Making a strong debut in his first week in the North American LCS is the European imports, Bjergsen. We're going to have to give the MVP over to him. Yeah, absolutely. Bjergsen had a huge impact in each game. Helped steer his team to 3-1 and one for the week and tying them in first for Cloud9. Not too shabby. Special has yeah. as much gold this game as Quas does. Oh my god. That gosh. was a spear as well. Coming and going for the fight. Odd one goes for the Vault Breaker to the Assault Battery again and a St. Vicious. The box goes down, but everybody's coloring outside the lines on this one. Dominate's going down in the fight now. Cop is the focus. The fadeaway calling. Ace in the hole. They're going to follow him to the fountain, but he finds Solace there on the back. So oh my oh! god! Oh, Quadra kill! Quadra kill coming in for Bjergsen. The Nexus turrets will fall. Behind the 30-minute clock, 16 to 6, Team Solo mid drops out Curse for two times in a row. Let's see what can happen here. There's the one, two, a three possibly coming in. There's the Zanyas denying that. Can he get over the wall? Oh, no. He does, but the fall. Oh, oh, Gleam is there. The rest of the team is there. Oh my God, Bjergsen stays alive. 41 seconds on Medios. Out of position. Here we go, though. Two versus one up top on Bjergsen. Squishy target. They might be able to capitalize. Oh, he goes back in! Oh, oh my gosh! Yeah, he oh, he goes back in! The healing's gonna be there. Will he actually be able to rock this out? The double kill! This shouldn't kill him! And he makes it out alive! Need to get back at them. Uh, knowing that the dragon was so early, fight bit. Oh, Bjergsen going hard. Oh, very nice. Got him. Oh, the ignite goes down. The turret shot hit. Yeah, that was an outplay by Bjergsen. He didn't mm -hmm. even have to burn flash for that. The culling gets thrown down, and Dexter eats most of the hits. He's the first victim, and CLG is near. Has respawned. He's back in the fight. He's taken Mundo down. This is turning messy. Bjergsen's got a double kill. Link forced away. That's a triple kill for Bjergsen. Four. That's a quadra kill for Bjergsen. He's looking for the Penta. Can he get it? That's the question. Bjergsen leaves one more hit. That's a Penta kill. Bjergsen grabs five. He puts TSM into a deciding game. Team Solo mid have beaten Counter Logic Gaming. Not only does Bjergsen pull out Karma with their backs against the wall? He closes the game out with a pentakill? Are you kidding me? Bjergsen could work. He could weave his way in and out those complex team fights and work the Karma in. But that's still such a bold move by him. That's not his style of champion, but he gets a Side Two safe spots for Dyrus to teleport to on this one. He will only get in the back. one in the shockwave on the side of Bjergsen. They lock down high. That's 30 seconds on the clock. Outplaying Cloud9 and carrying TSM to the championship. That's the ace. That's the game. TSM goes to full five and takes down Cloud9 to be the 2014 North American champions. Bjergsen. The new shot caller for TSM stepping in, stepping up big along with Amazing in a fight that's so close like this, in a game five, when it comes down to one team fight, meaning first spot at Worlds or second. How do you keep your cool? When, when you're learning to be a shot caller, you just, you just eventually figure out the balance between shot calling and individual play. And that's what being Amazing are both working towards. Rarely Bjergsen trying to make it into the fight. Ooh, Cali Trolls one got him from dead, got him! Bjergsen, nice, and the bind as well on the maple. This fight, I don't know if he'll be back in time. He tries to instantly teleport. They're gonna be able to see this coming in. Oh. The dragon gets hit up, no way! Bjergsen takes the dragon. He's still in the mix, and Gravity's health bars are just getting blown apart right now. Three are already down. TSM is having a heyday here, 24 minutes in. That's a double kill for Bjergsen, the triple kill for him, and he may come over for, no, he's not. He's just mid lane pushing. Back to be in the top lane for quite some time as they farm it out, 73 to 60. Poe Belter, he could get hit up here. That's gonna be what it needs. And oh, a lockdown man. as he hits the shuriken off his shadow oh, right my. before it disappears. That was disgusting. Kyrus took so much damage there. When that hook was down, they felt very comfortable. Going in, the rocket missing just over the shoulder of Phoenix. The turret's down, the inhibitor now to follow. 
The Where's soldiers Piglet? are in. Santori makes his way into the fight as well. He's on the Quas. Expecial and Piglet on the back line, and Piglet has no mana and no range on the fight. There's a Blade of the Rune King, though. They're able to take down Lust Boy. Bjergsen comes in. There's oh the shuffle. God. There's the triple. Could that be the Quadra? And Bjergsen picks up a beautiful play. Like you were saying, Jack, it comes down to that last big zero alt in the end of the game. And it did right there. 53 minutes, 19 to 11. Game one of the quarterfinals goes to Team Solo Mid over Team Liquid. Winter Fox should definitely be using a bit of this to get a push on as well. If TSM keeps them on the chase, they're going to get practically nothing. He's trying for the great escape here. Bjergsen going to kite them around their own jungle. Three members lost there for TSM. Altic, can he land it? It's up, it's up. There you go! Oh, he hit it, the solar flare! Oh, we go, just on the edge, so it's the slow for Bjergsen. He's waiting for the shadow. The ward goes down to keep vision of someone they already got. Oh, he missed him hard, he get away! He dodged it again! Bjergsen running for his life! He dodges another missile! This is gonna be it! Helios gives up chase! And Bjergsen, with the amazing chase, gets out alive! Did the TSM feel just safe? Bjergsen is starting to lose some health against Xiaowei Xiao. The Azir, though, is out of mana at this time. Santorin able to take a chunk out of Rush. And now they're pinging the Invade after it. They do have a war. Oh, my God. All right, he's just... Oh, he's got Barrier back up. Oh! Got him! And his Flash. Oh, Xiao is Xiao. The Ignite's still on him, and he goes for the Flash. Bjergsen once again coming out with a solo kill in the mid lane. Yep, Bjergsen with the instant scatter. It's down bottom, no gold exchange, but definite experience edge on the list. Absolutely true, and who he really getting pushed around by Bjergsen. Look at the damage up there, puts the E forward, and he's gonna flash in for the first blood! Bjergsen crushes who he! Wow, that is huge for this. TSM is placing offensive moves, so they're getting vision, and Cloud9 have not teleport advantage for this fight, though. Ooh, oh. missed Shockwave. That's a bye-bye, that's a Jensen. Oh, One last hit. He's able to get the spin to win on, and it looks like they may be able to finalize the kill on Boss as well. An ultimate, but now CLG with the lead, pushing in farther, and they're forcing TSM to take the long way back. Zonia's by Huhi, but can take plenty of damage from Svenskeren. Getting pushed around, but only goes oh. over the wall, so Yellowstar staying alive. Here gets the deletion on his stick save, but it will be another one traded back, and Huhi takes one down. Yellowstar also gonna fall, so Bjergsen, the last one alive for TSM against four from CLG. Oh, this is madness, Freak! <laughs> no, it's Sparta, and it's double they already oh, did, but it's oh, getting the solo kill. What a beautiful play. He's waiting for the gold card to expire. Oh! What? <laughs> what? How did he see him? Did he guess? Magic. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2016 Summer Split MVP, Bjergsen. Bjergsen, this is actually your third time winning the MVP award. No one else in North America has won it more than once. What does that mean to you? Obviously, it means a lot. Um, I think this year it means more than ever because NA has just grown stronger and stronger each split. And this season, I think NA has the strongest individual players that they've ever had. So I honestly didn't expect to win this award today and be here, so I'm, I'm very happy. Steady state game, I expect that top turret to go down. The steady state can happen and C9 with Jensen the, has no flash. Flash. the body slam and a flash and the knockback doesn't quite get him far enough, but it's still gonna be enough damage. A nice pickup once again. Bjergsen two and zero. The ceremonial taking of the Nexus turrets, nothing to stand in their way as TSM cement themselves as the most dominant organization in North American League of Legends and win their fourth North American Championship. I mean, obviously it means a lot because I had to go from the first time I got MVP, it was just individual play, mechanics, laning, you know, getting a lot of kills, but now the game has translated into being much more strategic. So for me to be MVP, it means I have to be smart and I have to make the right decisions. And that's kind of where I try to improve every single day. Flushed himself out of the way, but Sven chases forward as Bjergsen takes him down. Now Haunter blocks off Kontrak, Kontrak flushes out. Good hook there on the Sven's game, but he's gonna live through everything. Got Bjergsen the ball. gets himself the double, and Haunter's just not done. Ball gonna come in, Bjergsen needs to lock this up. Haunter still chasing in, sped up by the Orianna, slows in there. That's a triple kill for Bjergsen! Smoothie goes down as well! That's gonna be the Quadra and Jensen! The Diamond! Left for get the, the Penta! Diamond! <laughs>
Fountain's not going to give it to him, though. He's going back to the Fountain, but DSL might go in there as well. We got 25, maybe 30 <laughs> seconds. The Penta window is long. Jensen is just daring TSM to try and kill him. Do it! Oh, it's a one set, but TSM would rather take the game instead. Jensen is playing with fire. He knows as well. He's going to dodge around. What the oh! oh! It got in! That to bring it back! back TSM, the boys of summer may very well be back in spring. Clean game one versus Cloud9. Min Smite is there. Bjergsen goes up, and uh, Sven Skaren is obviously going to try for this. 2,500 HP, very low on the backside. Is a KD, and he goes down before Baron does. Oh, TSM secures the objective. Bjergsen getting one of these kills. Bjergsen getting a second kill. 1,000 kills for Bjergsen. And they get the Baron. Four members of Fox are down. TSM running strong. That's the ace from Double Lift. What a way to do it as well. A thousand kills for Bjergsen. The first mid laner in the NALCS to hit this mark. <laughs> and he is crushing it this game. TSM get a clean ace. Uh, I mean, it feels pretty good. I actually, I realized I got over a thousand kills actually a couple months ago, if you count in my kills in Europe when I played in the EULCS, but reaching this milestone just in NALCS exclusively obviously feels really good. And there you have it. What's your favorite Bjergsen moment? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content, be sure to hit that subscribe button.